What's this? You could be in the new Jurassic World movie? Yes, please! So, I wasn't originally gonna make a video on this topic, but the more I thought about it, the more me not covering it kind of doesn't do it justice. Two people have the opportunity to be in the next Jurassic World film, that being Jurassic World Dominion, as part of this all-in challenge set up by beautiful Owen Grady, Chris Pratt. Take it away! I've been spending the last two weeks pulling all the strings necessary to put together the greatest auction items of all time, time, time! Do you want to be eaten by a dinosaur in Jurassic World 3, Jurassic World Dominion? We got Universal to agree to give two spots, not one, but two spots in the movie where you were guaranteed to be recognizable, not cut out of the movie, absolutely in the movie forever, cemented your legacy forever. Eaten by a dinosaur in a movie. One's a sweepstakes, one's the highest bidder. Sweepstakes, anybody can anybody can join. It's ten bucks. You got ten bucks, you can join. Every dollar goes to a great cause. And if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, if you're somebody who's just got so much money that you just ran out of stuff to buy, the highest bidder. It's all about the money. So if you want to be eaten by a dinosaur with guaranteed screen recognition. All you need to do is, on this video, go on the link in the description below and that'll take you to the All In Challenge page. Like he said, there is two different ways to be guaranteed a spot. Well, there's no guarantee. Well, there is one, but we'll talk about that. Uh, the first one is just a raffle. So you submit one entry for free and then you can choose uh, 10 entries, 25 entries, 100 entries or 200 entries in this lottery prize sweepstakes to be eaten by a dinosaur. They don't say what kind of dinosaur and also leave in the comments what kind of dinosaur would you like to be eaten by? The other opportunity is to the highest bidder. And I've already seen on Clayton's video, somebody comment about beavers spending millions to be guaranteed a spot in the latest film. At the moment, it stands at, I think, $37,000, which is crazy amounts of money. But I suppose you'll be forever recognizable in the Jurassic World franchise as that guy that got eaten. I'm assuming this is going to be quite similar to the unlucky which I can't say because of, you know, YouTube's uh, don't swear. Who got eaten in the Lost World? I don't even remember who that guy was. He was definitely part of the production team. But anyway, I think it'll be something like that. They don't specifically say what kind of dinosaur that you'll be eaten by. I'm assuming a carnivore? Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be a Parasaurolophus. Which is why I'm not entering. Oh, a Carnotaurus. Oh, ooh, that'd be interesting. That comes with my, if I get eaten by a dinosaur, it has to be Carnotaurus and it has to be green. <laughs> and have light green horns, as well as toast. Of course. So if you are going to do the uh, entry for the sweepstakes, you can only do a 200 entries maximum. So you can only put in $100. And 100% of the proceeds will be going to great causes like Feeding America, Meals on Wheels, and you can find all of the information in the link below. So... Will Beaver be entering the sweepstakes? Will he be blowing his entire fortune to get eaten by a dinosaur? Short answer. No. So I was looking at the website. Apparently, you have to be an uh, American resident or a resident of the 50 states of America or Canada, but not Quebec because they're French. I don't know. <laughs> you have to be American or specific parts of Canada to, to be part of this movie. I would love to think that this is because it has to be canon and that's where the dinosaurs are released. And if we just had an English bloke show up, well, that would destroy the canon of the movie. <laughs> Obviously, it's a lot to do with laws and legislations and stuff like that. Well, you know, I can kind of understand, but there are Jurassic fans outside of America, Universal. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> the interesting thing uh, that this got me looking into, I was reading the rules and in the video, Chris Pratt says you will be guaranteed to be recognizable and you will not be cut from the movie, which is perfect. However, I was looking at the rules. Let me just read out some of the details. So you've got things like uh, production ID, maximum number of entries, 100% of where the money goes. Great. Now, the third one from the bottom says, participation in the production does not guarantee a visit to any set or any type or length of appearance or credit for such appearance or that such appearance will be included in the film production or... <laughs> Yours. Or the production will be released at all. Should any protocols, restrictions, or other exigencies prevent a winner from participating in production activities, 
alternate plans will be made in sole discretion of sponsor and others associated with the production to provide a different prize or experience. So I think this is just a legal way of them covering themselves in case something happens. But it does seem a bit weird. It's like, all this, all this, all this, just in case, you know. I also had uh, somebody forward petition uh, to get me eaten in the movie. It's nice to know that you guys just love me, want to see me fight dinosaurs. When I first saw that this competition was being announced, um, I thought, for a start, it's great. Uh, we're going to see some, like, Jurassic fans in the franchise. The fact that this is even happening uh, is a great step forward. We, I mean, the Jurassic franchise has always been um, including of the community, especially the Jurassic World one, uh, with Colin Trevorrow being so vocal on Twitter. But it also got me thinking that I don't know if I should enter for it. Not that I wouldn't want to be in it, of course. Who wouldn't want to be in it? Who's a Jurassic fan that wouldn't want to be in the movie? But at the same time, I don't want to be known, like, I saw a comment on my previous uh, video that I put up and everybody was, and, like the top comment was this. It was about this specific subject, about being in the movie. Beaver, if you're in the movie, I would point it out to everyone and be like, that's the game of Beaver. I, for a start, I don't want to ruin the movie. Not that I don't think, you know, they could cast me in such a way or like even that I would even be in the movie for just the start. But if I was, let's say hypothetically in the movie, I wouldn't want uh, to break the immersion. You know, you see Chris Pratt, you see Alan Grant, you see all these actors and you think, yeah, that's Jurassic World. If all of a sudden, like Chris Pratt said, I was to be recognizable, popped up, and eaten. I don't know if that would break the movie. <laughs> like, if I all of a sudden saw PewDiePie. Ba, 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 ba. What's happening? <laughs> what, what is going on? And of course, it wouldn't be anything like that. I wouldn't just all of a sudden turn to the camera and go, hello, everyone. It would just be like, you'd see me, I'd run and then get eaten by a dinosaur and something like that. It's just a tricky situation because there's a part of me that, as a Jurassic Park fan, I'd love to do it. But there's also the part of me that thinks, you know, well, people are going to recognize you. And anyway, I can't even do it. So I don't even know why I'm trying to explain myself. <laughs> Universal, you know where I am. You know how to contact me through the copyright claim system. That's the one. And just like that, any chances of him appearing in any Jurassic franchise were blown out the window. It's a great um, opportunity for someone to be in the Jurassic World franchise, to be ever immortalized in that. I've, I've done enough. I, I met Jeff Goldblum. Like that, that's all I wanted. Like that's good for me. I'm happy with that. But if you do want to be in with a chance, the proceeds all go to great causes. Uh, go in the link down below and good luck. And until next time, sorry, it's a short video, maybe, I hope so. Hope it isn't as long as this recording is. I've probably cut a lot out. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.